Hello, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today we'll be taking a look at how to set up the Advanced DDoS Protection on your Minecraft server. Advanced DDoS Protection, or Mitigation, is an add-on we offer that's a partnership with TCP Shield. This offers real-time Layer 7 filtering while providing an optimal route, ensuring low latency and high levels of reliability. You can enable this add-on whenever you go to purchase a new server, or if you already have a pre-existing server that you'd like to enable this on, you can go to the Add-ons page in the Billing panel. To get started, we've jumped into the server panel, and as you can see, under the Advanced DDoS Protection tab, we are currently protected, and that means we've enabled the add-on. So we'll need to go to DDoS Protection on the sidebar, and as you can see, we have two different options. So the first option is, I'll use my own domain, and that means you've purchased a domain from a domain registrar such as GoDaddy or Namecheap. And the second option is use a Pebblehost subdomain. This will mean you can create a custom server name, and have the extension .secure.pebble.host as the ending. So for example, we can do tutorial server v1.secure.pebble.host, click save. And this is pretty much it for our setup. It creates the network and does all the configuration for us. So this is the very simple and easy method if you don't have your own domain. If we wanna use our own domain, however, or if we've just purchased our own domain, we can delete this configuration and then be presented with the option once again to use our own domain. So let's go ahead and click this. And we're gonna enter in our own domain. So my domain is mc.smallrock.xyz. We'll click save. And as you can see, it says creating your network. And then it's going to give us a, a protected CNAME DNS record. And we'll need to go ahead and copy this CNAME uh, DNS record and then go into our domain registrar. If you have your domain set up through Cloudflare, this will be the exact same method. My domain is through Namecheap, and we'll go to the Advanced DNS tab. From here, we're going to click Add New Record, and we'll go ahead and find the CNAME record. For our host, we'll put MC, or whatever you've put uh, in the previous domain creation tab on the panel. And for our value, we're going to paste in the CNAME record it gave us, so we'll go ahead and click Save Changes. And that's pretty much it for the domain setup. There's really no other records you'll need to do, um, at least for this setup. So if we go back to our panel, we can go ahead and click verify. Now, if you do get an error verifying, give it five to 10 minutes for the uh, record to fully create with your domain provider. Um, and once we do click verify, it's going to go ahead and load our configuration. And once it is all set up, it'll say configured up at the top. Now, once we join our server, uh, some of these analytics will fill in. So the connections per second, um, we can expand and contract this one. Same with the players, unique player joins, attacks mitigated, um, MC version breakdown, as well as the bandwidth usage. Now that this is all configured, we can go ahead and join our server to ensure this is working. However, before we do this, I do wanna mention that if we go back to our server panel and click firewall here, you'll see that's already generated all of the firewall records that we'll need in order to make it so no one can join through our actual server's IP. So as you can see here at the bottom, the 0.0.0, .0 IP with the port 25565, because we have a dedicated IP, is set to block, meaning people using our actual server IP will not be able to join our server. Now, if we want to make an exception to this rule, all we'll need to do is click new rule, enter in a IP, so we'll just do a loopback IP for this uh, example here, and we'll need to make it a higher priority than this top firewall rule. So in uh, this case, this one is 21, we'll need to make this one 22. And the type will be set to allow, we'll click save, and this would make it so whatever IP you enter into whitelist will be able to use your server IP to join your Minecraft server. If you need some further assistance with that, you can check out our firewall video. Um, we'll link that down in the description. However, let's go ahead and try to join our server. All right, as you can see, I've jumped into Minecraft and we're just going to type in mc.smallrock.xyz. We'll click join server and it's going to log us in. And here we are, we are on our Minecraft server and we've used the advanced DDoS protection in order to make sure we have a smooth gameplay and also have our server be protected. Now you may be wondering what does happen if we try to use our server's IP to join our server with uh, DDoS protection enabled. So if we go ahead and paste in our server IP and click join server, absolutely nothing. It's just gonna endlessly say connecting to server and eventually give us a timeout message. That's gonna do it for this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding anything we've covered in this video, feel free to join the Pebblos Discord and we'd be more than happy to help you there.